welcome everyone in this lecture we will be introduced to species concept and speciation type when darwin went back to the galapagos island he noted it plants and animals found nowhere else in the world and that captivated darwin in speciation speciation also forms a conceptual bridge between microevolution that is the changes over time in allele frequency in a population and macroevolution the broad pattern of evolution above the species level now before knowing the speciation we must know the definition of species primarily in evolutionary biology the definition of species is used as the biological species concept which uh, says that a species is a group of population whose member have the potential to interbreed in nature and produce viable fertile offspring but do not produce viable fertile offspring with the members of other such groups uh, human beings are the only organism in the world which are composed of a single species only uh, so how can we differ that because if you take example of a, a person sitting in new york uh, marry and uh, uh, want to mate with a, a person in australia or in india they could have a viable babies who develop into fertile adults so that is the factor behind the biological species concept so if we want to know what holds the gene pool of a species together causing its member to resemble with each other the answer of it lies in the gene flow the ongoing exchange of allele that tends to hold the population together in by genetically so the as we have mentioned the biological species concept is mainly focus on the sexual reproduction so there must be some kind of limitation you can guess the primary or the main limitation is about that is the limit the biological species concept can only be applied to those organism who are reproduce reproduce by sexual means it cannot explain the asexual mechanism and also the vegetative mechanism of reproduction so it cannot explain this phenomena in prokaryote uh, like bacteria virus uh, bacteria in um, uh, algae fungi etc and uh, the second one as you can see there is uh, there is a limitation uh, uh, for the sexual selection uh, so there is a chance of the reducing in number of species that it can evolute so uh, if you take example of any kind of fossil uh, specimen e it cannot evaluate the reproductive isolation of fossil and the third one can be uh, said as the species that are designated in biological species concept as by the absence of gene flow but there are also example uh, like in the case of grizzly bear and polar bear uh, whose hybrid is known as the growler bear growler bear it is not mentioned here so they are the their parents are both morphologically and ecologically distinct yet gene flow occurs between them so that is a uh, noticeable limitation of biological species concept so that motivated scientists to put forward few more species concept the first one here is the morphological species concept which distinguishes species by its body shape and other structural features and uh, the dif uh, di uh, difference between uh, from the prior is that it can explain the asexual and vegetative sexual reproduction also the next one is ecological species concept which define its a species in terms of its ecological niche or niche it is also similar 
like the morphological species concept it can also explain the asexual and vegetative reproduction and the latest one very latest one is the phylogenetic species concept or PSC that is termed as the basal cluster of organism diagnosably different from other such cluster and within which there is a parental pattern of ancestry that means is the phylogenetic species concept is a product of evolutionary event so now come back to our next slide that is reproductive isolation now what is reproductive isolation because biological species are defined in terms of reproductive compatibility the formation of new species hinges on reproductive isolation that is the existence of a biological factor that impede members of two species from interbreeding and producing viable fertile offspring such various uh, mechanism blocks gene flow between the species the reproductive isolating mechanism can be studied under two main categories one is prezygotic isolating mechanism where we uh, see we could see the prevention occur before the formation of the zygote and uh, another one is post zygotic isolating mechanism where the blocking of development occurs after the fertilization has already taken place now come to the next slide where it is headed as the prezygotic isolation mechanism before sexual attempted sexual mating was attempted we can study the prezygotic isolation uh, in two section in first section we will uh, study where the sexual uh, I, uh, sexual uh, mating was not yet attempted the first one is habitat isolation habitat habitat isolation says that species that occupy different ha habitats we know they never came in uh, close contact with each other they don't need to came in close in close contact for example the there are two fly of the genus regolites occur in the same geographic barriers but they feed on and they reproduce on the different plant uh, the apple maggot fly feeds and mates on hawthorns and apple in its close relative and uh, another one the blue blueberry fly. next one is temporal isolation temporal means it a temp uh, a temporary time or place is a distinct zone of time species that be during different times of the day different season and also in different year they cannot mix their gamete for example you can see in field cricket they have different maturity cycle uh, someone uh, some field cricket uh, mature in spring and some also mature in fall so they cannot reproduce in a, uh, or they cannot um, interbreed uh, in a same time and the next one is the behavioral isolation where blue footed babies of inhabitants of the galapagos so called sheep rituals that attract mates and other behaviors unique to a species and are effective reproductive barriers even between closely related species such behavioral rituals enable mate recognition a way to identify potential mates of the same species in the next slide we will examine that the prezygotic isolating mechanism happened after the mating was attempted it it uh, the very first one is a mechanical isolation where the sale of two species of snail in the genus of bradybenia spire they have the spir different spiral orientation uh, some of them are moving inward to the center that is oriented to the uh, um, 
काउंटर क्लॉकवाइज एंड अनदर आर हैविंग द क्लॉकवाइज डायरेक्शन सो दे कैन नॉट अलाइन टुगेदर सो द मेटिंग कैन नॉट बी कंप्लीटेड इन केस ऑफ गैमेटिक आइसोलेशन द फिफ्थ टाइप ऑफ द प्रीजाइगोटिक आइसोलेटिंग मेकानिज्म व्हाट हैपेंड इन एक फॉर एग्जांपल इन सी अर्चिन दे रिलीज देयर स्पर्म एंड एग्स इन सराउंडिंग वाटर बट दे फ्यूज एंड फॉर्म जाइगोस टू ओनली टू देयर गैमेटिक व्हाट यू से गैमेटिक compatibility with their gametic compatibility uh, you can uh, see in this example there is a red colored and also a purple color sea urchin so purple color uh, a, a sperm from the purple color only fuse with the eggs of the purple color sea urchin not to the uh, violet colored post zygotic isolation so post zygotic means uh, the sexual mating was attempted and zygote formation uh, formation already happened the nature can defend by following this method the first one is hybrid inviability that means the hybrid was born but it is inviable Uh, for example, in the uh, some salamander species, the genus Insatina, they live in same region and habitats where they occasionally hybridize, but most of them they do not completely develop, and for those who can develop are known as the frail. And after the hybrid inviability, we will look the hybrid sterility. In this case. hybrid was viable but hybrid was viable but hybrid is not fertile it it cannot interbreed for example uh, if you can cross a male donkey and a female horse the product will be known as the mule m u l e mule so it is a healthy offspring but it is a sterile offspring and the next one is hybrid breakdown a uh, few strain of cultivated rice have accumulated different mutated recessive allele so what happen if uh, uh, if you already have studied genetics uh, you can th um, uh, think of that if uh, in if one uh, generation uh, some species can uh, ca some species collect uh, recessive uh, uh, mutant alleles so they may or may not produce some kind uh, some phenotype characters but in the uh, succeeded uh, succeeding generation f2 f3 f4 in this case in this for example in this case after f4 in the f5 generation the plant accumulated uh, about 80 to 90% of their um, recessive uh, mutant allele so they uh, so because they carry too many of the recessive alleles they are getting small and getting sterile so in, in this case the uh, difference between the hybrid sterility and breakdown is that hybrid sterility is, it is sterile in the f1 generation and hybrid breakdown in hybrid breakdown it is not sterile in f1 generation but it is sterile after the few uh, succeeding generation now come to the speciation what is speciation speciation is the formation of a new species that is caused by genetic changes in particular group that make it different from the species from which it was originally derived having discussed what constitute a unique species let's return to process by which such species arise from existing species allo means different a geographic isolation is must Uh, in this example you can see the different uh, two different genera of pork fix uh, pork fish of uh, occur in the uh, pan, uh, pacific ocean and how this happened scientists thought that before the fo uh, formation of isthmus of panama they were originally a one species but the um, few of them were moved from uh, uh, one region to the another and the um, 
formation of the uh, isthmus occur and they were introduced to a totally different uh, uh, environment, totally different habitat. So, they uh, struggle for their existence and they remain as they are as a uh, and originate as a new species and this type of speciation is known as the allopatric speciation. Allopatric speciation occur when a small population moves to a new location and allopatric, allopatric speciation is found common, commonly in uh, nature and it is com, uh, commonly in animals and rather than in plants. So, uh, what are the factors that drives this speciation? There are many different factors uh, the like the environmental condition, genetic drip you know and the sexual selection uh, th uh, they prefer one se uh, one uh, type of uh, sexual mating uh, and another uh, one type of sexual mating and they choose their uh, different environment uh, and they move thus the genetic drift occurs and uh, sometimes uh, because of the environmental condition and the ecological condition also because of the formation of such kind of barriers allopatric speciation happen and sympatric species sim sim mean together so there is no requirement of any kind of barrier sympatric species happen when the reproductive barrier that isolate a subset of population from the remainder of their population in the same area so how could this happen without any block and they are having uh, um, their sexual reproduction in the same zone, they are having their uh, food and remaining uh, uh, situated in a same niche. So, the <coughs> so the factor that are <coughs> responsible for this <coughs> is mainly the <coughs> polyploidy and the habitat isolation. In case of Allopolyploid, you know the example of Raphanobrasica, Raphanus cross with Brassica. The F1, you, uh, if you can remember the F, uh, F1 generation was sterile. But if you can also remember that uh, I have already told you that F1 generation also, uh, uh, although being a sterile, it can reproduce with its only with you can it can reproduce with itself. Then. So, it can emerge as a new species, that, that is the reason how um, uh, sympathetic speciation occurs in plant and thus it is commonly found in plants. Approximately 80 percent of the plants found in, in the world are um, known to have originate from this sympathetic species. Along with the another reason is a habitat isolation, that means they are in a same region. but sometimes what happens the environment changes and they can found um, in a better choice so they may move they for uh, they form a new habitat so because of, of this also sexual selection happened there is also two another kind of example which are very similar to this that is parapetric speciation and parapetric it will be parapetric and peripetric species so uh, if if i can uh, define by a single word or a single line uh, i will say the difference between parapetric and uh, peripetric is their niche formation what happens you can see in this example in peri peri means peripheral peripetric is a type of allopatric when very small uh, number of population organism from a population move to a another population very nearer to the original population that is uh, what happened in genetic in founder effect not in bottleneck effect so they move from one place to the another place and they are very small number of organism that start a new population and it is known as peripetric and the parapetric what happened in parapetric they entered in a new niche but it is the overlapping niche it is not a separate niche it is a overlapping niche to the 
original niche where they previously lived and uh, you also know uh, you also see that uh, uh, in sympatric speciation there is no formation of uh, niche there are, uh, there are uh, different habitat in the same population so they compose of different genetic polymorphism uh, one very uh, tricky idea about the parapetric and peripetric uh, speciation is that you can remind is about the peri means i i means i means independent okay uh, independent I, that is they uh, are in they have are having a independent niche and peri means peripheral to the original and in parapetric a means you can uh, align it as the a means um, adjacent the uh, adjacent niche uh, independent niche and adjacent niche rate of speciation you know this slide you know the know that the punctuated model and gradualism model of speciation that um, uh, hypothesized as uh, um, for the um, rate of how the speciation occurs what is the rate of this so um, you have already know that both the uh, hypothesis are acceptable hypothesis um, some scientists uh, talk that uh, um, one species originated uh, um, slowly that is a gradualism model and some hi scientists hypothesized as uh, the original species descended uh, for, uh, descended into two species and they formulated uh, two different species uh, in in a short time in, in this example we will see how does hybridization lead to speciation in sunflower note that in uh, what happens there in f1 generation only the 5 percent of the f1 experimental hybrid were fertile and just after the 4 more generation the hybrid fertility rose more than 90 percent so the chromosome of, of individuals from this fifth hybrid generation differ from this 5 f1 generation and uh, why this, uh, they differ and how they differ we will learn in the last very last slide of this section uh, okay uh, we are talking about the hybrid zones hybrid zones reveal factor causing reproductive isolation many group of organism are forming hybrid zones a typical zones where the uh, occurs they occasionally form hybrids and they are stable and in and in other words there are few mechanism you can see here in this example for uh, uh, for example look at this population there are three organism gene flow occur and barrier between the gene flow occur some di di uh, some of them are diverged into different population and from blue to they form a pink colored species and gene flow is again re-established because they are totally now they are totally different population and between them a broad zone that is known as the hybrid zone where the both uh, if we cross the both the individual the hybrid between them was born and they were stable so the possible outcomes of the hybrid come from the three main types the one mm, that is reinforcement uh, enforcement theory that is the strengthening of the reproductive barriers what happens here they are strengthening so they they are gradually decrease uh, increase in number they are gradually forming in uh, in this hybrid zone number two what they can do they can fuse the number of species uh, are available here they can fuse and they can decrease the hybrid zone uh, and they can um, uh, drive the species in event like the previous one and um, uh, what is the uh, next expectation uh, we can uh, deduce that the uh, either they can uh, force them to strengthening or they weakening the reproductive barrier or they can stably continue reproduction the way they were doing
Now, last slide is comprised of the genomic of speciation. Why genomic of speciation? And it is important here. The genomic of speciation uh, is help us to determine the number identities and genomic character, genomic location of species in event occurs in a species in gene, the look the look side that contributed to the evolution of reproductive isolation. Allelic interrogation were happened here and uh, allelic interrogation were expected to be uneven across the genome because uh, allelic uh, integration are uneven in the across the genome uh, if uh, a mutation appears in one species that is the beneficial to both species it will sweep through both both the organism and homogenize that region of the genome between the species a contrasting picture is expected in genomic region that carry loci that isolate hybridizing species those regions sometimes calls at the genomic island of speciation that are expected to show greater genetic divergence than rest of the genome. Genomic islands of speciation might provide evidence about the geography of speciation, but that is still a uncertain topic. That is enough for today's lecture. In, in the next video lecture, we will uh, get to know about adaptive radiation.